Hello and welcome to my video overview of HTC's TouchFlow 2.5, also known as HTC Sense, for Windows Mobile on a VGA device. For this little uh, demonstration, we'll be on a uh, HTC Touch Pro, so again a VGA device with a, a full slide-out keyboard there. Um, and again, this is TouchFlow 2.5. Just going to be going over some of the changes or differences from the older version to TouchFlow. Uh, to begin with, we have our home screen here. Uh, you can see now that the weather is immediately available to you. The nice thing about this weather is that uh, it is, if you want, based on GPS. So you can see it uh, It found me here in Plainville, Kansas, perfectly fine. Uh, a little chilly out today, but we'll survive. And the nice little calendar right there below that as well. Difference here on the home screen then is that you can flick directly to your favorites. Um, rather than being the final tab all the way over here, it's right here on the home screen, and you can put all sorts of things here now. Uh, not just programs like Calculator, Explorer, Google Maps, but you can also do uh, contacts. Uh, like I have uh, Megan's cell phone there. I'm not sure why the picture isn't showing up there like it should. Uh, you can also have uh, web pages, like I have uh, Facebook Mobile right there, and then normal applications as well uh, right there on the home screen. So that's a, a nice addition. Uh, over on the contacts tab, things have changed now. Rather than kind of the Rolodex, uh, you have a grid of people and of course you can have a uh, more people uh, if you were to tap the picture which I'm not going to because I don't want to show phone numbers or call anyone uh, it'll do the default action so you can see here it's cell phone cell phone cell phone uh, it looks like I have all cell phone right now but you can also have default actions be email text message call the office all sorts of things and then if you click their name rather than their picture it just brings up their contact card uh, the text messaging tab, I just flashed this ROM, so I have no text message right now, but it's the exact same as what it's kind of always been. The mail tab's gotten a little bit of an update, because now uh, there's no envelope. You get a much bigger view of the email. Um, and so you can actually, on some of these emails, read uh, a fair bit of the email before you even have to go into it. And then, of course, you can just click on it there to get right inside. And then, of course, if you have multiple accounts, you can just flip between those accounts like normal. The calendar has received a little bit of an update. Uh, you get your day view, and what's going on. Uh, shows the weather for the next five days worth of appointments, so you can kind of see uh, as well what's going on there. The standard month view with the little triangles let you know when you have events. This might take a second to load, but you have the agenda view now as well. This one's a little slow on the Touch Pro to load up, but uh, shows you things like that a couple days in advance. And then you also now have the view a whole year at a time feature as well. So it's kind of nice if you're trying to look at the whole year overview. Uh, Picture Manager is uh, roughly the same. So, and uh, the album software really hasn't uh, hasn't changed at all there. Uh, if you do go into landscape mode oh never mind this rom sorry this rom doesn't have g sensors turned on uh music is really similar to what we've kind of always seen before weather again a lot the same uh shows you current weather the next four days um you can add static locations if you want right now i have it just set to uh it just updated um i have it just set to uh, use the gps to track where i am uh, a brand new tab here is the Twitter tab. Gives you a real quick overview of things going on. Of course, you can uh, click up there and uh, type in your tweet, or it had an option there. Uh, I don't know if you saw that or not. At the bottom for a photo, uh, geotagging it, all sorts of stuff like that. You can also go into all tweets here, and you get your standard view ones uh, at you direct messages and uh, favorites and stuff like that so i don't use twitter a lot so i don't have a lot of that filled out but the internet tab of course you can launch your browser you can come down here to favorites the nice thing about favorites now is that you do get these little uh screenshots so that's kind of nice and you can have uh, quite a few of them and then of course google search across the top uh, the uh, stock tab a lot the same go in and you can tap on it it'll update it uh, and so there's your little view of your stocks and then the last tab now is just your settings tab 
a lot more settings because there's a lot more things that uh, TouchFlow 2.5 manages over the older versions of TouchFlow, uh, which is pretty nice. One last thing I'd like to show, again, here on, I added this to the home screen myself, is I put the Com Manager here. It's the Com Manager we're kind of used to seeing for the most part. You can turn your phone on and off, data connection, Wi-Fi on and off, Bluetooth. But now they've embedded the Wi-Fi router feature right here into it. So you click that, wait a moment, and this little phone here is going to turn into a wireless access point. Uh, anyone around here would now be seeing a uh, wireless network called EDTP for everything Diamond Touch Pro. With They connect to that, and they'd use this little key right here, and away they would go and be able to uh, use my cellular uh, data plan uh, as their wireless access point. So and then, of course, I can click it and turn it right off. HTC's had that out for just a little bit now, and it's nice to see it actually directly integrated into the comm manager now. Um, so there you go, a brief overview of uh, TouchFlow 2.5. Oh, and yes, you can see the weather does, if you want, you can turn that off and on. Uh, it'll kind of overtake the whole screen a little bit, even on the home screen. Uh, it's a lot more dramatic if it's cloudy or rainy or things like that than if it's uh, just kind of a normal sunshiny day. So there you go, uh, TouchFlow 2.5 HTC Sense on a VGA device. It, uh, it's working quite well. There's, I look forward to more updates.